2 to the 3x minus 2 to the x equal to 120. And x is a real number. We want to find x. Please don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and turn on the bell. So let's start here. We have 2 to the x, 2 to the 3x. I consider 2 to the x equal to, let's consider it is y. So we can say what? If we raise the power of 3, 2 to the 3x equal to y cubed. When we raise the power of 3, 3 will be multiplied by x, by the power rule. So if I replace here, 2 to the 3x equal to y cubed minus 2 to the x equal to y. So if I call this one 1, call this one 2. From 2, it is this, this part. From 1, we conclude it is negative y, this one, equal to 120. Now, if we take all things to one side, 1 cubed minus y minus 120 equal to 0. Now we try to find a root of this, at least one way to satisfy, then we can factor, one of the most useful way. So if I replace y with 5, then 5 cubed minus 5 minus 120 equal to 1 to 5 uh, minus 5 minus 120. It 1 to 5 minus 5, 120 minus 120 equal to 0. So here, because it is 0, we can say y cubed minus y minus 120 equal to y minus 5. One root is this. So when y5 Satisfy here, y minus y is one factor. It's a good way or hint to find one factor. Now, I want to create y cubed, so I place y squared. It will be y cubed, so power minus 5, y squared. But left side, we don't have y squared. So I place plus 5y to cancel negative 5y squared. It will be 5y squared minus 25y. And here we have one negative y, so I should place plus 24, and it will be plus 24y. This, this will be negative y, like left hand side, 24 times negative 5 will be negative 120, and it's okay. So we know it is equal to 0, so when product of two terms equal to zero, it is zero, or this part is zero. So in first case, y minus five equal to zero, or y squared plus five y plus 24 equal to zero. In this case, you take negative five, the right hand side, y equal to five. We want to find x. From first term here, we said two to the x equal to y equal to five. And when we have this, we can take a log from both sides. Log 2 to the x equal to log 5. Now we use this rule in logarithm. If you have log ax, you can take x in front of log like this. If we apply that here, x times log 2, log 5. So when you see x in the power, you should take a log from both sides to have x to take x from power, and we have this, the log should have same basis. For example, like e in base e, it will be ln or any other equal base. Now here, we divide both sides by log two. Now, x equal to log five all over log two. So one answer is this. Now we should focus on this part. Okay, so here we should use quadratic formula and okay, if we use quadratic formula in this part, our a will be 1, b5, c24. If we consider the thing inside the square root here, we call it discriminant equal to b squared minus 4ac. If we replace, it will be 5 squared minus 4 a c 24 and if you calculate you will see it is less than zero it is 
96 is 25. So it is less than zero. When the discriminant is less than zero, it means that we don't have any real roots for y here. So our only answer is this x equal to log 5 over log 2. Please don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and turn on the bell. Thanks.